Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and we're looking at a, a still shot of a video I made uh, way back after I got my uh, Mavic Mini, and I studied using the Air Data uh, software, uh, which is free. I put up a video showing the barometric altimeter and the sonar altimeter that are built into the uh, Mavic Mini. And the barometric al altimeter is one just like airplanes have, and uh, the sonar altitude uh, is also usable, but it's only good up to about 30 feet in the Mavic Mini. So these are the two altimeters that we have. And as we fly, we get to the bottom of our screen, the readout that we see is the barometric altitude. Now, theoretically, if you take off from the ground, those two, the barometric and the sonar, should be uh, equal. And so, and the barometric altitude altimeter is very accurate, uh, unless you're in a strong breeze or something like that. So uh, it's a good altimeter, very good, as you'll see in this video. Uh, but anyway, so uh, that's what I put up, and I wanted to show that there's two different altimeters, uh, one that measures the distance to the ground and one that measures the, uh, the well, actually the GPS altitude according to the, uh, the altitude from the ground. So anyway, t I hope that explains it. And uh, for the last couple of weeks, I have been helping my son. He moved from the HOA out into a country area. So I took my Mavic Mini out to where my son was moving in to get some shots and uh, I took off and as you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, which I didn't notice at the time until I came back and put it on air data, the barometric altitude is slightly lower than the sonar altitude, the distance to the ground. So the distance to the ground was a little higher than the, uh, the barometric reading. And so, of course, after 30 feet, uh, then the, the barometric reading is the only uh, altitude, the only accurate reading. But as I came to these power lines uh, and I climbed above them, at that point, I wasn't sure uh, how high I really was. But let's go back to the point of takeoff. Because at the point of takeoff, the sonar, the distance to the ground was 6.6 .6 feet whereas the barometric reading was 2.3 feet. Well, where did he get the barometric reading? I believe that when the way they've got it set up, that when the sonar reading is not zero at takeoff, then the barometric reading is taken the, uh, according to the distance that the controller is from the ground. Because as you can see, it's about as high as my waist, which is where I was holding the controller as I hand launched the drone. And uh, so uh, the, the way they've got it figured out, if you take off from the ground, then the uh, altitude reference of the sonar, which is going to be really close to zero, is transferred over to the controller and then displayed on the screen. And then from then on, the, uh, the barometric reading coming from the drone is added to that amount and uh, so you get an accurate reading when you take off from the ground. If you take off from the ground the barometric reading and the sonar reading are going to be pretty close to accurate but if you hand launch your barometric reading is always going to be a little bit less than the actual altitude which is a good thing because uh, then if you're flying over power lines, <laughs> like I was doing, uh, then you're, not, uh, you're safer than you think you are. So anyway, I don't know if this is helpful or not, but it was interesting to me and I thought I'd share it. One more thing that I've learned from my Mavic Mini. Just for fun, I took my Mavic Mini to the park and took it off from the ground and set the controller on the ground and as you can see, they are very closely related to uh, each other, the sonar and the uh, barometric altimeter, uh, up until about uh, 30 feet or so. <clears throat> and uh, uh, I really didn't need to do this because, like I said earlier in the first part of the video, uh, it reads the, uh, the sonar altitude at the beginning and then uh, transfer, transfers it to the, to the controller. 
But as you can see, this is the shot from the, uh, from the drone. Uh, as I go out, I fly around for a couple of minutes and then I come back. Uh, I am so uh, pleased to see that the barometric uh, altimeter is very, very accurate. Uh, as we get down below 30 feet here, you'll see that it has maintained, when the, so when the sonar takes, takes over, when we get close to the ground, you'll see that they're both pretty much the same still after flying around for a while. That's not always true with a wind, on a windy day, but on a calm day, uh, they are so very, very close to each other. But uh, so if you're hand launching, your uh, drone is actually going to be a little higher than what the altimeter reads at the bottom of the screen, uh, which is a good thing. So I want to thank you for watching and uh, hope this is helpful and God bless. <music>